Got a blast. What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody frailing in today? My people, you already know what time it is. It's time to make the one and only Rajan Rondo. So you already know Rondo, one of the best point guards to play this game, a great I would say, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say pure playmaker, but this man, man, Rondo is just a great point guard. Like, you want to be on a team where Rondo is at because he's going to find you. Great point guard. He could play defense. He was strong. He could rebound. He could get triple doubles from time to time. He was great in terms of laying the ball up. He had that nice little Rondo fake that you know people would say he could shoot the wide open three he was fast he could play defense he can lock up man like so much great things about celtics Juan john rondo right i remember when he got injured in the playoffs something with his wrist or his arm he still was he was still hooping he was playing with one arm come on man you can't you cannot like you can't i don't even know how to explain it but you can't make that up man it's only certain players that got that Certain players got that Mamba mentality. Now, layup, amazing layup guy. Driving layup of a 97, incredible. He was just that good, right? He wasn't really known to dunk. He'll get a he. He caught some crazy dunks from time to time during his career. But it is what it is. We ain't gonna really stress too much about that. So uh, we ain't worried about that. But the driving layup is where it's at. Now. For the shooting, he wasn't really known to be a shooter. His jump shot wasn't the best, but he can hit the wide open mid ranges or threes when needed for his team. Like if his team needed a bucket, he could do that. So look at that mid range of 70, three point shot of 75. So that's gonna be really amazing. All right, so we're gonna be able to hit those wide open three point shots with this. He wasn't the best free throw shooter at all. And that's surprising because most point guards are pretty good free throw shooters, but Rondo was not. He was not a good free throw shooter. That's why his free throws are 61. Now, this is where the beauty of his game was. The passing. Rondo was an exceptional passer. He was so good, right? Now, the ball handle was a 92. That is awesome. 91 speed with ball. I think you get lightning launch on Hall of Fame or Legend at 91, which is cheesy. So just keep that in mind. Now. Not only was Rondo passing the ball, getting up three from time to time, cooking people in the paint, but this man can lock up 92 perimeter defense, 85 still. This 85 still this year is dangerous because you get gold interceptor. 92 gives you the on ball mass, I believe. So you're gonna be able to play some great defense. Now for the physicals, look at this 91 speed, 95 agility. We're not worrying about the strength, but 85 vertical. 85 vertical is insane for a 6-1 point guard. But that's what 2K said he had. So without further ado, let's go to the my player builder and make the one and only Rajan Rondo. All right, my people, we in the my player builder. As you can see, first and last name, Rajan Rondo, right hand jersey number is nine. You want to stay at point guard. You want to put that height to 6-1. You want to go 185. I just went 185 on the weight. I don't want to go his exact weight because I don't want to look too crazy. So 185. And then I just maxed out that wingspan at 6-8. So the wingspan on this build is going to be really good. We're going with an 85 vert. Why are we going 85 vert? Because that's what Rondo had. He had an 85 vertical. This doesn't go into any like attributes or anything to make you dunk better or anything, but 85 vert, listen, I think that's gonna be cool to see what we could do with that. I maxed out the strength, even though his strength was low, I just went 60 on that strength. Agility and the speed is going to be phenomenal. 90 agility with a 90 speed. This build is going to be fast as a mother lover. Okay, I'm telling you now, you are going to be running up and down the court. You can run down the court, get the interception, get the dime to a teammate. The agility is there so you can clamp up at the uh, perimeter. This also like affects, so the agility also affects how fast the player can accelerate, move in short bursts and move laterally. This is so important. The agility is so important. So when you're 6'1", you want to be able to, to be able to defend even with your height. 
Now, the amazing thing is, I want to. I think I want to save the playmaking for last, cause that's gonna be great. So look at this. Close shot. We're gonna go with at least a 71 on the close shot, so we can get close shot animation to be able to score. Driving layup. We're going 88. All right, 88. I think 88 is still good because it does unlock all of the um, layup animations. I wish they had Rondo's layup layup uh, package because Rondo's layup package is actually amazing. Like if they had it, they they used to have it in the older 2Ks. Chris Paul had one. Tony Parker had a layup one and um, Rondo had one and I don't know why they didn't just keep his layups in the game but I know Tony Parker's layup package is still in the game it's called fundamental so um, you know that's definitely uh, Tony Parker's for the driving dunk we're gonna go 50 so we still get some rim grazes and stuff like that so we'll be able to dunk the ball from time to time no standing dunk just go 32 here just so we could waste attributes and then 26 there now for the mid-range shot we're just gonna go 67 if you don't think that you can hit these mid-range shot at a 67 you're tripping I've hit shots on 25 for like a 40 mid-range don't ask me how but I just knocked it down somehow and it went in 76 three-point shot so we're not gonna just be able to just, you know, play make and play defense and be super fast on the court. This three point shot is going to be amazing because now we get shifty shooter on bronze. We get set shot specialist, mini marksmiths and dead eye. This is more than enough to get the job done. I'm telling you, this should be more than enough to do great. Free throw, he didn't have a high free throw, but 65, you can green with a 65 of a free throw. Now, we're going to go to the playmaking, but let me uh, knock out the defense too. Because I feel like the playmaking is the best part of the build in my honest opinion. So look at this. The perimeter defense, we're going to an 87. All right? 87, that's going to give you off-ball pass on Hall of Fame. The still, he had an 85 still, so we're going to go 85. We need that still. So we're going to be able to play great defense. This build is gonna be dope with cat breakers because you can put the perimeter up, you can put the still. Actually, I would put the perimeter up just so you can have more defense or you can do playmaking or shooting. It's really up to you how you wanna do this. Uh, I just went 49 on the block. I maxed out that offensive rebound. And then I went with a 60, all right? on the defensive rebound because he can get rebounds from time to time so we're going to have that rebound chaser on bronze so we're going to be able to get some boards from time to time now the playmaking rondo was a great passer look at this going all the way to 96 we get bailout hall of fame versatile visionary gold break starter hall of fame diamond hall of fame my people rondo in the flesh all right, this is where it's at. Now, we're gonna go 92 on the ball handle because that's what he had and that's all we're gonna do, all right? Amazing, amazing build from the top of the build to the bottom of the build. You are gonna be like Rajon Rondo. The beautiful thing about this build is you get shades of Ron John Rondo. Amazing build. And you get a great build name, classic name, two-way slashing playmaker all right so y'all let me know what y'all thought about this rondo build all right and until next time much love